Um, so again, your story, and Audrey had written a brief summary just of some of her story. Uh, they are described the circumstances before your breakthrough or before salvation. Uh, I was intrigued, uh, just even like during the war, that you were uh, obviously taken away from your home yes. uh, there. Yes. Can you tell us a bit about yes. that, Yes. Um, during the war years, um, it was ordained by the government that people in London should be sent away um, when you're under five, you are allowed to go away with your mum or one of your parents, which happened to me. I went with my mother to two different places, and then I, went, I was sent on my own when I was five to a place. And then uh, later on, when my sister um, was, uh, you know, uh, was able to be sent away as well. We went to a third place, or four, fifth place, wow. and um, it was there I was bullied because I was an outsider. I was a Londoner, you know, and I wasn't in London anymore. I was in Shropshire on the borders of Wales. So that's, that's what Wow. Bullied in the last one. Oh, I was so that, that dreadfully a, a bullied really... in the last one. Yes, I was. Um, I think that's probably where I'm a bit wary of people, you know. Um, you know, that I'm not comfortable with. Yeah. Um, once you turned 18, things began to change uh, for you. Yes. Uh, there you had an encounter with God. Yes. Um, when I started work, I was... 18, and there was a lady at work um, asked us, would we like to come to a campaign? I had no idea what this was, but everyone in the office said, no, thank you. And I think probably I felt sorry for her, because <laughs> that's the way I am. And uh, so I, I agreed to go. I didn't know what I was going to, and it was the other side of London that I had to travel but we went, and the sermon that evening was about heaven and hell. And I definitely didn't want to go to hell, the way he put it, definitely didn't. But that began a search. Um, and every time I saw this woman at work, <laughs> I had loads of questions for her. Um, uh, and it went on for about six weeks. And at the end of that time, I thought, do you know, I really want to become a Christian, but I didn't know that you could do it, you know, where you were. I, I, so I persuaded a friend to come with me, and we travelled across the cross country, across London. And um, it was there that I decided that, I wanted Jesus in my heart and my life. And we couldn't get into the main auditorium. We were in an annex. So we just were told to sit where we were and someone would come and talk to us. And my friend sat with me as well and gave his life to the Lord as wow. well. Fine. So we both did it on the same night. We went our separate ways after that, but, you know, I got involved in other church things. Yeah, and, and that was on the May the 17th, 1954. That's right. Um, May the 17th, 1954. Wow, and I a think Billy Graham crusade. Um, Eight, 80 years ago now, isn't it? Wow, is it? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I've done my sums right. <laughs> It was a long time ago, Audrey. A long time Audrey. ago. Long long time time ago. ago. <laughs> uh, becoming a Christian, Audrey, I mean, is it, what has God done in your life? Oh. Uh, was it a good thing to do? It was a very good thing to do, yes. It changed my life completely. Even my mum and dad noticed it, you know. They were, my mum was against me coming to know the Lord. She really freaked out, and I knew that I couldn't speak to her about it. But later on, when I was 21, I had a party, which I organised myself. And um, at the end, when I was walking up the stairs to go to bed, they said, 
that was that was really amazing that all these people here knew the Lord Jesus and I think that helped them you know later my mum gave her life to the Lord wow. and I'm not sure about my dad but I think on his deathbed he made his peace wow. with God you know <clears throat> amazing None of that I put on there. Uh, no, no, <laughs> that's okay, Audrey. <laughs> I'm used to it, this church. <laughs> uh, now, the, the, probably the, the question that's it's always been on my mind, uh, never wanted to ask you uh, there was, how old are you? <laughs> uh, am I allowed to ask that? You can, I'm 89. 89. I'm 89. 89. Okay, so remember that, because I'll be 90 next year, so, so remember that. So next year, you're, you're not going to organise your own party, Audrey. <laughs> I think uh, I'm not that, That's now. going to be a celebration. <laughs> but 89, uh, loving Jesus, serving Jesus, being uh, just here with us. We have been so blessed. Um, with you being here. How long is it you've been coming to this church now? Um, it was, I, I, I actually visited before my husband died, but I started coming the week after he was dead. It was the 12th, I think it was, he died on the 6th, and it was the following Sunday, right. whatever the date was. Yeah. Um, you know. I started yes. coming on a regular basis then. I couldn't do it before yeah. because I had visiting him yeah. in hospital and yeah. in the, yeah. in the care home. Um, and, and how has it been, been part of this family? Uh, are they oh, treating you well? It, are they treating it's you been right? a blessing, <laughs> a, a real blessing to be here. I, 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 I don't know how to put it, but... I have been so blessed to be in this place. I've been so blessed that everybody's been so welcoming, so helpful, so understanding. It, it's, I can't express it how, how much it has been a blessing to me to be here. And I just thank you all for all the help and encouragement that you've given me in this time. Wow. Well, bless you, Audrey.